to Interviews with Ivan. My name is Ivan Demosten. I'm the CEO of Hamilton Demo. And we're coming to you from downtown Cincinnati, the Ron Hamilton photo. And we're going to bring to you some interviews and conversations from people within diversity and inclusion and other business leaders and nonprofit leaders. And we're hoping that you'll welcome the conversations, welcome the interviews, and please follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to us as well. Any and all feedback is appreciated. Thank you so much. So Ivan Demos then with Ted Forrest with Cincinnati Art Museum. We're here in downtown Cincinnati in Ron Hamilton Photo Studios. And uh, Ted, thank you so much for, for joining us today. It's, right. it's a pleasure seeing you again, man. Oh, my well, pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Happy to share some information about the museum. Yeah, yeah well, let's start from there. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself personally and a little bit about the Art Museum. Well, uh, just a little bit of my background. I'm originally from Texas, so kind of came up here to Cincinnati, uh, football scholarship at the University of Cincinnati. Go Cats. Uh, absolutely, go Cats. <laughs> go Cats. And, uh, you know, got my undergraduate degree in communications. Um, went back to Texas for about a year um, and then transitioned back to Cincinnati, and I've been here ever since. Um, and so my career has started off uh, in the uh, employment specialist field, finding employment for pe people with disabilities oh, um, at Goodwill Industries. Oh, and nice. then from there, parlayed into uh, the area of human resources. I worked at um, what is uh, UC Health now, but was the, 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 um, the Health Alliance at the time, uh, transitioned to UC. And then when I got my graduate degree uh, in human resources, I transitioned to the HR director position at at uh, the Cincinnati Art Museum and have been there since 2012. Fantastic. Yeah, I know you're doing a great job there at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about that, but tell me a little bit more about what you did at, at Goodwill. And uh, it, it seems as though it may have really uh, fueled your interest in this field. Absolutely. So at Goodwill, the focus of, uh, as an employment specialist was helping people who had previously been employed in other positions or had been underemployed find new employment. So a perfect example would be a person who's worked construction all their life, and unfortunately they have an injury, they can no longer do that job. So retooling them with new job skills, um, you know, preparing them for the job market and assisting them in finding employment with various employers in Cincinnati. So a lot of relationship building, uh, a lot of, you know, job tips and, and job search assistance with, you know, individuals and then helping them find that new employment and, and kind of secure that employment um, long term. Um, also, people who had never been employed before, so right. people with mental disabilities um, um, that needed to find employment and assisting them in that process in, in, in finding employment in, in uh, you know, Cincinnati and the tri-state area. So just helping people, you know, have the ability to find employment and, you know, have that dignity of working in the community and providing impact. Yeah, what a great way to just leap into, dive into this uh, yeah. space, right? There, there was no gradual <laughs> gradual uh, learning here for you. No. You just had to dive in. Right? It was dive in, learning, building those relationships, uh, understanding you know, the skills necessary to be able to, to find employment and, and just providing guidance you know, yeah. where needed. Most people definitely have a focus and want to work. Um, you know, and at that time, you know, economy wasn't great, you know, it was right after post 9-11. Uh, so things were very challenging, but everybody certainly had the, the focus in, in wanting to work and wanting to provide. So just providing them guidance in that process. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, well, from my experience too, people just don't know what they don't know. Right. Right. So fantastic. So back to the Cincinnati Art Museum, tell us a little bit uh, more about the art museum itself for those that don't know. Well, um, Art Museum is up on the hill in, in Eden Park in, in Mount Adams. Uh, so we've been there for 140 plus years wow. as, a, as an institution. Um, and, and more recently, just with some of the things that we've been doing, really focusing on making the museum itself a place that's for all of our communities. Certainly Walnut Hills and downtown Cincinnati, but certainly all parts of Cincinnati and the tri-state area. So. Uh, a lot of great exhibitions that we've had coming in. We just wrapped up with our Hank Willis Thomas exhibition, which is a um, very powerful exhibition, um, especially during 
you know, this period of time in history. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and just being able to kind of speak to some of the things happening. So just was being that able, virtual. I'm sorry. Was that no, virtual? no, it was actually in person. Oh, so great. we were open. We do have uh, a virtual exhibition now that people can kind of see. We just wrapped the show, unfortunately, but we did make make sure that we made that uh, virtual for people to be able to tour and see online. So certainly they can you know go online and tour the exhibition itself and really powerful exhibition to see just kind of speaking of social injustice and some of the things that we're seeing you know in, in our community now but uh, very um top of mind right now but certainly something that is focused on bringing the community together so we're really happy to have that exhibition but certainly we offer a wealth of different exhibitions for everybody in every parts of the community as well as the strength of our you know uh, collection um, we have six thousand different objects that spans 5,000 years. So yeah. <laughs> you can imagine that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, not all that stuff's out at one time. We have about, you know, 10 to 50% of, you know, what we have in, in our holdings, but, you know, still an amazing way for people to kind of come in and connect to the collection and find that piece of art that they loved and maybe through that process, find other things that they love as well. Oh, that's, that sounds wonderful. Let, let's get back to that. When I want to ask you a little bit to share what, you do in your role and some of the things that you oversee and um, especially how people if they want to get involved more whether it's volunteering sure. maybe they've never even thought about an opportunity uh, career with with the arts right um, share a little bit about that yeah so uh, HR director obviously so my focus kind of runs the gamut of a lot of different things but uh, recruitment and, and bringing different people within to the museum is this particular focus of mine. So um, as an institution, we're always looking to find and provide new opportunities for everybody within our community. And certainly that is a big stable for us and part of our strategic plan to become a very diverse organization, try to become the most diverse organization within Cincinnati um, and to continue to uh, reach out to a lot of our communities and, and, and get them involved. So a lot of different ways of doing that, certainly through the traditional ways of just stepping into an entry-level position within the museum and working your way up, you know, with new acquired skills and into other positions, but certainly, you know, some other ways too. So we've recently focused a lot on the internship programs that we've okay. had. Traditionally, they've been free situations uh, where people have worked you know, and, and gotten experience, but kind of with the no pay, we recently transitioned from that because the understanding of how that impacts, especially under other uh, privileged uh, uh, communities. So understanding that being paid is a huge part uh, of internships. So we've recently un uh, rolled out that program. Um, and now all internships within the museum are, are paid. So for people who are unsure about their career path, where they want to go, Maybe they have a love for nonprofit. Maybe they really never thought about the arts. It gives them the opportunity to step into that field and learn about all the things that goes into the museum because it's not just curators or right. uh, people who install the exhibition, but there's a whole business side behind that. So they right. get the experience of that um, and, and get involved. And hopefully that's something that attracts them to you know continue their career kind of going forward. And that's, so that's been a big focus for us of, of getting more people involved and certainly the traditional sense of, you know, finding different jobs within the museum. And, you know, we have several different departments from, you know, security to janitorial to uh, curators to exhibition design to exhibition installation to a uh, front desk. Um, we even have our own cafe yeah. and catering business in-house. So. Right. Yeah, I was, I was super, I was impressed and surprised. I was mentioning to you about yeah. the energy yeah, I'm like oh, there's a lot of excitement in there, a lot of activity, yeah. a lot of energy. Yeah, um, yeah, that that was great to see. I it, it never occurred to me. I always thought that there was a lot of intellectual yeah. uh, conversations going on, people taking in the environment. But yeah, that was very cool to see. Certainly, the intellectual side of things, the scholarship of what we try to do is, is there in a big in a big focus for the institution. But we also realize that. Not only are we this place that people look for expertise in the art, but they also want to just come in and be able to enjoy the environment. So we really try to focus on some of our programming to ensure that it, it, it you know, it reaches out to a lot of different communities and, and has them engaged 
Um, and if, even if that's just an entryway into the museum, they come to an event, they have a really great time, and they're like, I need to come back here. Yeah. Or I haven't been here since I was nine on that field trip. Right. I need to come back. And so that that's that's what we're trying to do, entice them to come back and visit and, and just kind of find everything that we have to offer, you know, and, and then hopefully long term, you know, they want to become members and, and be part of our institution. But the big focus of our institution is being free to the community. So at any point, anybody can walk in, no matter what their socioeconomic background, no matter what their gender, diver, uh, uh, well, their orientation, yeah, their orientation, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Place for all. So being Place able to come all. in and enjoy and find a piece of, art, piece of art and connect with that. Yeah. So I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, you know, we have these wonderful universities here. Mm -hmm. We've got some phenomenal high schools. Uh, we've got these young kids who are playing football, basketball, yeah. soccer is huge here and lacrosse is huge here now. Yeah. Uh, how do some of these kids maybe find ways or maybe talk to their teachers or their parents to, to check out the art museum? Well, certainly we, um, you know, COVID has provided some challenges uh, with that process. We've had to primarily go through a lot of virtual programming, but certainly that's something that's open to a lot of schools. Um, as we continue to be open, we allow people to have self-guided tours. Oh, um, and awesome. certainly there are some school groups that we've allowed, had allowed on a very limited basis just because of kind of the, the structure of everything related to COVID. But um, even before that, a lot of school groups coming in and being able to kind of connect. So we really encourage that connection. We have a wonderful uh, learning and interpretation department who specifically focus on their relationship with teaching the community oh, right, about awesome. art, but uh, specifically programs geared toward uh, middle school, elementary school, middle school and high school students and college. Um, so any of those type of groups that have interest and in, in want to get involved um, have the opportunity. For me, that's how I learned about the art museum. Right, right. I came right. to Cincinnati um, not knowing a lot about art, uh, maybe visiting the Houston Museum of Art a couple of times, but when I came here, um, actually one of my teammates' moms uh, decided to invite me to the museum, and that kind of started my love and appreciation of the institution. Oh, that is that's so, a cool story. Yeah, being able to kind of see and, and kind of connect. And so, like, again, when that opportunity came up, it, it, it was top of mind for me. I knew what the museum was, and I really appreciated the arts. I said, you know, let me jump into a leadership role for this museum. Great. No, that's a great story. Yeah. So you, you touched on this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Share what COVID, uh, this pandemic, this time that we're living in, Share some things that maybe have changed that maybe are bringing opportunities to you. What what are things going to look like on the other side? Yeah, well, it, it, you know, it's a very it's a very challenging thing. Um, our focus throughout this process has been, you know, protection of our staff, uh, protection of the art, probably secondly, <laughs> um, and, and then making sure that you know we're still engaged with the community. So you know, when COVID hit, a lot of our programming switched to uh, virtual. Um, being able to share the collection in, in, in kind of an online capacity. Um, we also started to focus on having our staff being kind of um, uh, providing some interpretation of some of the art for the community, sharing it on Facebook, sharing it on Twitter, uh, all the social media outlets. Um, and then uh, around June, we did decide to kind of reopen the museum. And so we've been continuing that. Uh, progressively. Uh, the numbers have not been <laughs> um, huge, but that's okay because it's not about the number of people who are coming into the museum. It's about the, the enriching experience of them yeah. being able to kind of connect. Additionally, there's some things that we started to focus on outside of the museum. So we recently opened up uh, a, a large uh, stair <laughs> staircase, if you want to call it that, uh, we call it the Art Climb. So it starts at the bottom wow. of uh, Walnut Hills yeah. uh, of Eaton Park and walks all the way up to the uh, parking lot of the museum and then leads you right into the museum directly um, as wow. people. So that has been a huge thing for us. We opened that in, in probably May or so, and we've had over 300,000 people uh, wow. take advantage of the outdoor environment. And recently we've started to add some sculpture to that. So. Again, us having to adapt and understand, maybe this is not the time for everybody to come into the museum, but we can certainly find a way to 
share our collection outside of Yeah, store. what a great idea in our yes. client. Holy yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it is amazing. And uh, if you ever want to get in 125 steps, <laughs> <laughs> straight up of a very steep hill. How, about, great six, how about 65? <laughs> Sir, yeah. Is there a landing around 60, 65? Yes, yeah, so we have we have several landings, so you can take breaks in between those, but certainly just a great opportunity to share the art, but also provide you know something to the community. So it, it, it is certainly something that uh, a lot of people have said, this is a great exercise you know, vehicle, uh, and I get to stay outside and enjoy the fresh air. And, and, and now putting some of that sculpture out there allows them to start connecting again. Yeah. You know, with the museum. So even when they're going upstairs and they're out of breath, they look up and they see this uh, magnificent sculpture and they're like, I need to go in there and see what's in this place. So, no, I, I'm going to, I, my, my wife and kids would love that. Yeah. So I, that's uh, definitely something we're going to do. Sure. In the near future. Absolutely. I'll, I'll send you a video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as we wrap up, my friend, it's a yeah. lot of great, great things. So formerly Texas, now you're officially in Ohio and in Cincinnati. Yes. Yeah. We, we, we ripped you from the grips of Texas. <laughs> That's bear, a great bear cat. Bear yeah. cat. Yeah. Uh, so what's the future, future hold for you? Well, certainly continuing to kind of focus on, on my role in the museum and, and kind of the, the work that we do. Um, something that we've really kind of taken on most recently is really an inward look at diversity. Yeah. Um, and how do we become more diverse as a staff, as a board, uh, but certainly how we connect with our community. So we currently have a lot of initiatives that we have in place, um, wrapping up our current strategic plan and, and looking to 2021 to start our new strategic plan where diversity will be huge, um, uh, you know, key uh, to our future and success. So really looking at some of the initiatives that we put in place there and trying to build a museum again for the future and for all people. Oh, that's um, great. So really excited about some of those opportunities and we went through a, a, a very robust process of uh, dialogue about social justice as a staff um, and, and really talked about some of those things as a staff and, and really decided as an institution as staff wise what we thought was really important to kind of move forward with. So we put some of those initiatives in, in place. And certainly looking to have some board feedback and also some feedback from our community to let us know that we're you know going in the right direction so excited about that yeah I, i'm excited too i know everyone's going to be excited i'm looking forward to supporting you guys yeah. supporting you yeah. being part of that uh, that sounds phenomenal so ted thank you for joining us thank today you. that was great great catching up yeah i know our bearcats are going to be playing in, in a bowl here in the near future do you have any <laughs> predictions uh, I, 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 my prediction is that we run the table, yeah. uh, we get into a big new year six bowl and we, we, we win a national championship. Nah, I like that. <laughs> I like the way you think. Go Cats. Big goals. Big goals. Yeah. Go big Cats. cats. You see. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have, have a great day and please do us a favor. Come back, keep us posted and, and uh, we'll share your information with everybody so they can visit the uh, website for the, uh, museum. Um, check you out on LinkedIn and uh, stay connected. Thank you. All right. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Thanks, Taylor.